In this video, I will show you how to change objectives and filter cubes in LASX. So depending on your version of LASX, you may be able to change both your objective lens and your filter cubes within the software without going to Hardware Configurator. So to do that, go to Configuration, then go to Microscope, and under the nose piece, You'll see there are positions for every position you have on the nose piece. These are actually written physically on the microscope, so you can look at your microscope and determine which position you want to replace. And then under the article number, the best thing to do is to look on your microscope objective and look for a six-digit number. It usually starts with a 506. I have a picture here showing you this number on one of our microscope objectives. So let's say we replaced this 20x objective with another 20x objective, which has the number 506243. Usually the last three digits are enough to pull up that objective. And then I just double click and now it has replaced that objective on the turret. Now to change your fluorescent filter cube, you can do the same thing. You can actually tell that on this particular microscope, it has RFID, which is a code that is read by the microscope stand. So it's intelligently designed such that you don't even have to enter the article number here. When you stick in the filter cube, it will automatically be read. But let's say you don't have an RFID microscope, in which case you would do the same thing as you did for the nose piece. You would search for your filter number or look for the name and go to the location that you stuck the filter in and then double click to change it. I'm not going to continue because that's not the right filter cube. So if you can't change the objectives or filter cubes in LASX, what you'll have to do is close LASX, then open LASX hardware configurator. And that's what this looks like. So then you want to go to configure. So the remaining steps are exactly the same as I showed before within LASX. You'd go to the nose piece, select the objective, and I'm actually going to change this back to my original objective, which has the last three digits of 529. And then the same thing for the filter wheel, which is called the IL turret, and you would go ahead and enter the correct filter for the correct position. 